What's going on guys? Welcome back to Uber Adventures. I'm John and today we are taking a look at the Viking 1706 XLS. Uh, before we jump into this RV, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. I also want to say thank you for everybody that has been hitting me up to possibly buy a trailer. So if you are interested in an RV, please don't hesitate to reach out. All my contact information will be down in the description. But let's jump into this. All right, so just like every other RV, we are going to start in the front. I do have this popped up, of course, because it's just that much easier to do it with the RV already up and everything. So let's go ahead and take a look. So first thing first, a lot of things are not on here. We have our propane would go right here. You have your battery location right here and you have your tongue jack right here. It's on wheels. So when you have your stabilizers up, it's really easy to move this around. Super easy, popped up or down for that matter. Now, when you're trying to crank it up, this is how you crank up the top. And then there's quite a few other steps, but that's the that's what that is, just to kind of go over it. Coming over here, again, you do have four points. Stabilizers in an RV like this, you will want to have the stabilizers down, especially in the back, because it's so light, you can actually cause it to tilt. So coming on down. Well, actually, I'm going to start from the top. Let's go up here. So you got your top rail right here. So that rail it actually comes with an awning. We just don't have the awning on there because we just don't have enough room in our uh, space because I'm right next to an A-liner. And so we just didn't want to take up all the space in here. You also have blue LEDs, which is nice because I, I think what I understand is um, it helps with bugs as opposed to bright white lights. Don't hold me to that. I could be full of crap. I don't know, but that's what I believe I understood. You have a single step to get in. You also have a bottle opener, which is super nice. You have 145 R12 tires. They tans, but I keep them clean. Let me know down in the comments where that quote comes from. Coming on down, you do have a griddle by Capital, which I love the way it looks. It looks fantastic. It actually looks better than a lot of other griddles out there. I just like the, the clean, sleek look. You have your propane hookup right here. And then it is pet friendly. It's weird that they put that sticker here as opposed to right next to here where you actually have your um, leash latch. You have LED lights everywhere, which is awesome. And then of course, you have a way to hook up a solar panel as well. You do have a bumper and you do have a spare tire, which I believe is the exact same size. Let's take a look. Yeah, 145 R12 as well. So that's nice. Coming here, we have our tank fill. We also have a 30 amp power supply so this is a 30 amp coach you have an AC on it and then you have a suburban furnace you have right here is going to be where your outlet is for your uh, sink and then of course you have a city water connection right here as well down here we have a few specs you have it weighs currently 1675 pounds and it's just under 13 feet it's 12 foot 11 inches and the GVWR is 2,897 pounds. And then the tires are rated at an E because your, your uh, axle is rated at 2730 pounds. So very nice. You can see the air conditioner up top over there. Ugh, can't even point at it. It's a Coleman Mach air conditioning. All right, guys, let's take a look on the inside. I think you'll love it. All right, you have one step to the step and then one step into the RV. And then before we even get into there, we got some doors to look in. We got a storage right here. First thing you get in and then close that. And then we open up this door and you got even more storage, which is very nice, especially in an RV this size. So let's go on in. So let's close this door. Now what's really awesome about this door is it's screen all the way top to bottom, but you can also close this. It does have a 
way to close off the screen. So that's very nice to have. Go ahead and open that up to let a little bit of airflow. And then of course, like I said before, you do have an air conditioning in here, which I got online trying to find really more to kind of price check what we're selling this for and compare it to everybody else. I can't find anybody else that has ACs on their pop-ups, especially Vikings. So, but most of the ones I found were up north. We're down in the south. So if you are looking for a pop-up, price obviously will be right here as well. Um, and you got an air conditioning that will fill this whole entire area. You also have these little fans above the be main beds. So it gives you a little bit of extra ventilation as well. So that's really nice. Now check out these beds. This holds 1,200 pounds. So if you're not sleeping on both sides, and this one is a thousand pounds on this side, you could use one side for storage and not have to worry about it if it's just you and maybe one other person. So this gives you a lot of space. And then your place to eat also turns into a bed. It comes together in the middle. And then these cushions obviously fill up the spaces. And so you have this really big bed area as well and a great place to sit and eat. I mean, this could literally sit three people across on each side, maybe even four, depending on how big they are. The table can be moved inside and outside. Of course, you can use this as a cook prep or you can put it outside and use it for a prep area for outside, or you can use it for a table outside and just eat off of it. So there's a lot of great options here. Coming over here, we have Actually, let's start underneath this one. You have your um, fuse panel. It also has auto detect. So if you put a, let's say it will come with a, a lead acid battery, but if we switch it with a lithium battery, you don't have to do anything. It will automatically know and it will detect and do what it needs to do to charge that battery. You also have a charging center right here, two USB and a 12 volt, your thermostat and a place to plug in. On the other side, you have storage. So nice little, let's move that out of the way. Nice little storage area. See if I can get you a view. There you go. Sorry if that's a little shaky. All right. So underneath here, you have, it's a, uh, let's see if it will turn on. Now, nah. um, it's a um, refrigerator and a cooler or a freezer as well. And you can take this outside and everything. And then you also have your uh, heater right here. You have a little bit of storage underneath. That's of course for your sink right there. It's an acrylic sink. Same stuff they make football helmets out of. And then of course you have a polished aluminum looking uh, faucet. A, let me undo this right here so we can actually open it. A two burner suburban uh, cooktop. Relatch that so it doesn't. Eey, there we go. Doing that with one hand is actually a little bit harder than it looked, or as hard as it looked. And then, of course, you have a plug, and then you have this big bed area. This is really, really nice. And then what that door is right there, that's a little door that actually goes right here. You'll take this door out when you're transporting and that door is there to let you in and out whenever you need to uh, get into the RV while you're driving. You'll have to pop up the top just a little bit to be able to get in. But typically we say, don't do that. Make sure you have everything you need in your vehicle and all that kind of stuff. So either way. All right, guys, so that pretty much covers everything. So I'm going to go over the specs right now. All right, let's go over the specs. So the length of this RV is 17.92 feet. The height is 4.67 feet. The width is 7 feet. The height open is 6.83 feet. The weight of this RV dry is 1,642 feet. The payload capacity is 1,255 feet. The GVWR is 2,897 feet. And the hitch weight is 167 pounds. You have one fresh water tank and that's 16 gallons. There is no gray water or black water tank. 
This RV claims to sleep up to six people. I feel like it could sleep more than that, but your mileage may vary. The air conditioning is 13,500 BTUs and the heater is 20,000 BTUs. And that pretty much covers everything. Back to me. All right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe and the bell notification. If, especially if you want to see my future videos, I do have more pop-ups. I also have more trailers to do. I have, I have a lot to do, so stick around. Videos will be posted Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. And if you are in the market, I work for a company called a Great Outdoor RV Center in Cumbie, Texas. I would absolutely love to help you out. But until next time, bye.